Welcome to Tech Brothers Dame. In this video, we are going to start a new series called Azure Synapse Analytics. Um, so before I go ahead and start looking into the slides and try to explain to you, I want to give you advice. Um, so maybe there would be a lot of uh, people who will watch in this video and uh, they are totally new to the Azure Cloud and uh, they will try to understand everything from this one video. So I will suggest uh, don't bother yourself, take it easy. We are going to take a look into each of the component uh, later in different videos uh, with very detail. Uh, now, if you don't understand, I will just say keep moving and uh, once uh, you start watching like a three or four or five videos, uh, you will have good understanding what exactly we are doing. And uh, that's uh, one of the things because we are gonna perform a lot of demos. So my most of my video or style, I use is a performer demo in front of you so even uh, if I cannot explain with the English at least uh, you have visual to see like oh okay that's exactly what he meant now um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, start this and uh, I hope uh, you will uh, learn uh, about Azure Synapse Analytics uh, from this uh, tutorial and it will help you to find a job or uh, if you are doing some uh, work already and want to improve yourself uh, it will uh, you will be able to improve now one platform uh, multiple engines uh, unified experience so, so that's in a nutshell uh, is the azure synapse analytics uh, but what does that exactly mean uh, now we are going to go further and dig into it azure synapse analytics is the enterprise grade uh, analytics platform uh, that brings uh, together the best microsoft so big data and data warehouse capabilities into a single experience uh, it enables data professional to ingest explore prepare manage and visualize data at any scale so that's a lot of uh, different things that you can do in azure synapse analytics now here is the diagram you can see right there so you have uh, azure synapse analytics and uh, then you have right here is called the azure data lake storage gen 2. Now think about that the storage that is holding csv file parquet file delta table files and um, json files uh, and uh, maybe other excel and uh, whatnot uh, now we we they, everything is sitting right there if we are coming from the background with the sql server or oracle uh, then what happen uh, we always save the data into the table and here uh, all those files are sitting here and uh, then it is telling us hey guess what you have analytics uh, run times available that's a sql and then you have apache spark and you have data explorer so there are three different uh, run times available you can use them so in uh, if you remember that uh, we have uh, in sql even we have this uh, capability open row uh, functions or that uh, if we want to re read the csv file we could uh, in the sql as well uh, in past you know so here it is, that's exactly it means uh, so you have these uh, different files that's a structured file or unstructured file sitting there you know and uh, then uh, what you have there you can use these uh, run times uh, to read the data so if you want to read the data from uh, maybe csv file you can use sql command if you want to read the data from json file you can use apache spark and then uh, you want to have some log files sitting there you can use the data explorer now if you even uh, also you can go ahead and uh, read the data from maybe on-premises sql or cloud data like cosmos db or maybe some other data sources available and uh, you want to read uh, you can write directly sql to read the data from there so there are a lot of uh, uh, functions available to you to perform that analysis so you see that uh, these runtime engines are the main part of this uh, Azure Synapse Analytics uh, and we are going to explore into each of that uh, then on top of that what you have there you have a uh, data integration uh, so if you come in with the background SQL you know that there was SSIS we need to read the file put into the database uh, here we have uh, integration we use uh, these pipelines uh, those are Azure Data Factory pipelines but they call them uh, Azure Synapse uh, pipelines uh, they are same, uh, pretty much exactly the same like copy activity data flow and all that you can use uh, so you can read data from a different uh, sources and uh, put the data into the Azure uh, Data Lake storage and uh, then use the SQL or Apache Spark or Data Explorer to read those files. Uh, 
now we can manage them so there is a part we will be doing how to manage those different tables uh, we can create external uh, links uh, to these files and uh, call them external tables and uh, we can manage them uh, we have uh, permissions available at different levels we will be doing that too we can monitor them and then uh, there is a security part to it you know that is also there and then uh, on top of that uh, there is a studio you have right there uh, that you can use uh, uh, to write your SQL code you can use uh, to write your notebooks uh, like Apache Spark uh, uh, code uh, you can use that you can uh, write Kusto query languages uh, and uh, in that studio so we will be using that uh, then all that uh, you also have uh, connections with Azure Purview you have uh, Azure Machine Learning you have Power BI so all those uh, can be things can be done uh, uh, from this uh, Azure Synapse Analytics. Uh, I think that's pretty good information uh, to start but it still doesn't make a whole lot of sense sometime because you haven't seen uh, the things in the uh, demo or the, how really it looked like the tabs and everything. Uh, we are going to get to those in next videos. So, so let's uh, take a little more uh, definition uh, details uh, from uh, this slide and uh, that will help a little bit to build your memory and then we will go to next. Uh, so core compute engines inside Synapse. So if you see right there, I was showing you SQL, Apache Spark and Data Explorer. So here is our industry leading SQL because everybody pretty much all of us are well familiar with SQL. And if you're not, I mean, I have a video a tutorial on my channel how to uh, actually work with SQL Server, install SQL Server, write your SQL codes and everything. You can watch those videos. So Synapse SQL uh, supports both. It has uh, dedicated SQL pools uh, for high performance predictable workloads. Uh, so what does that mean? You can always uh, define the computer. You can tell uh, how powerful machine you need uh, to run that SQL. Or you have serverless uh, SQL pools uh, for on-demand querying of files in the data lake. So you can have servers, serverless uh, where uh, there, if the files are sitting here, you just want to query and uh, then you can use a serverless uh, SQL pools uh, uh, for on-demand querying. It totally depends uh, if you will be using uh, dedicated SQL pools or serverless uh, SQL pools. Uh, now, it's not just like, hey, I want to select a dedicated SQL pool. I can have maybe uh, 20 uh, v uh, CPUs, uh, you know, and I want to use it or a serverless. I want to use this for a file. I think you will also compare uh, as a, with respect to the pricing. So it depends like, hey, if you are turning on that computer for a dedicated uh, SQL pools, uh, that might cost you $1 for one hour. And instead of that, you want to just need to run this query and uh, that's the finishing uh, uh, just uh, three seconds, uh, then you will say like, hey, guess what? It is uh, just uh, costing me one cent. Uh, so it totally depends upon your scenarios. If you are running those queries for a long time, maybe you will say dedicated SQL pools and uh, that's better as in, in respect to performance and price or uh, maybe depending on your scenario, you will use a serverless uh, SQL pools for uh, on-demand querying uh, that will read the files from the data lake. So we will go into that details and I will show you pricing and everything. Don't worry about that. In SQL, we can use a lot of functions and one of them can be used a T-SQL predictor for inline ML model scoring. Now, query structured data, stream data and external sources. So that's all going to be possible with our SQL. And now if uh, we want to go and say Apache Spark for big data and ML, we can use that as well. Uh, so this uh, runtime is available to us and uh, deeply integrated Apache Spark 3.1 engine uh, sports Python, Scala, uh, Spark SQL and even a uh, .NET for Spark. Uh, so different languages are available. You can write the code in any of them uh, and uh, then uh, run on uh, those uh, different files sitting in the data lake. Uh, uh, auto scalable uh, uh, spark pools with the faster startup uh, so you can uh, have a auto scale so depending upon your load maybe you start with three nodes uh, of uh, apache spark but you can uh, do auto scaling maybe your load is heavy you want to go to 10 or max uh, uh, nodes and that's also possible so train models are using uh, spark ml and integrated with the azure ml uh, so that's uh, also possible. You will be doing all those different things uh, by using Apache Spark uh, uh, in the Azure Synapse uh, Analytics. Uh. 
data explorer runtime so if you see that this is a more like a when you where you are going to go ahead and write your Kusto query language uh, and it is optimized for log and telemetry analytics uh, fast uh, full uh, text search and uh, semi-structured data indexing uh, uh, ideal for IOT logs and uh, anomaly detection um, so I have a complete uh, series of uh, how to write Kusto queries uh, you can watch that and it will be very helpful to use uh, in the synapse uh, when uh, you are using uh, data explorer runtime and writing your Kusto queries. Uh, now let's uh, take a look on other definitions such as a deep integration with the da uh, data lake. Uh, so what is the data lake? Uh, a data lake is a centralized storage repository that allows you to store all types of data that is uh, structured, semi-structured and unstructured uh, and at any scale uh, and uh, with their uh, raw format. Uh, so seamless uh, that's the definition so you have a central repository where you can store different type of data that's called the data lake uh, in a, uh, just a normal or simple words uh. so deep integration with the data lake uh, that means uh, uh, our azure uh, synapse analytics is connected with the data lake uh. Seam, seamless support for parquet files, CSV files, JSON files, TSV files in ADLS Azure Data Lake Storage Gen 2. So if uh, those files are sitting all there with the Azure uh, uh, Data Lake Storage Gen 2 and uh, there is a support for all those files. Uh, so we can read them and we can write them there too. So define tables on top of files. So as I was telling you, like, hey, guess what? With the Azure Analyt Synapse Analytics, we can use SQL. So if the files are sitting in the blob story right there, right, we can simply write SQL code to read those files. Uh, we can use uh, Spark as well to read those files and also write back uh, to the different files. Now, fast uh, uh, data exchange between Spark and uh, SQL tables. Uh, so this is also possible. Uh, you have uh, uh, SQL tables uh, that we will create by using dedicated SQL pools. Uh, and uh, you want to use Spark to read them, you can do that. Uh, and the uh, vice versa is also available. Uh, so we have uh, Spark tables and we want to read them uh, in, by using SQL. Uh, that's possible as well. Uh, so built-in data integration. So I was telling you, uh, you can have Azure Data Factory is the ETL tool that is available on Azure uh, Cloud and uh, it is uh, used for, uh, it is pretty much same like SSIS, you can use copy activity to read the, read the data from sources right to the destination. You have data flow where you have more uh, transformations available such as the condition split, uh, you can uh, do, uh, filter the records and all those different uh, transformations, uh, group by and whatnot. Uh, so you can use them. Uh, in the synapse we have the same uh, um, those uh, activities available that's which are available in Azure Data Factory and we call them uh, synapse uh, pi pipeline uh, and uh, we will create this with the same components so so use the same engine as Azure Data Factory code free ETL uh, with the mapping data flows uh, so uh, if you remember the SSIS uh, you don't when you use the uh, data flows uh, or uh, maybe another tool such as Informatica or uh, other one you just drag and drop and uh, you don't ha have to write uh, tons of code it automatically uh, generate the code under the hood once uh, you build those uh, graphically I will show you and we are gonna see that there is a complete uh, tutorial I have created on Azure Data Factory you can watch uh, uh, from beginning to end to get expert on that as well so ingest uh, from more than uh, 90 plus sources of uh, SQL APIs SAS uh, cloud etc so you can read pretty much from anywhere you know uh, even uh, you have uh, read the data from the BigQuery if the data is sitting in S3 bucket you know you can read from different sources and then write the data wherever you want uh. So notebooks, pipelines, store procedures, Spark, uh, everything. So it's uh, right there. You can uh, use everything uh, in these uh, it, uh, this uh, data integration part uh, where you need to call a store procedure. You can call it. You can uh, uh, call a, a notebook inside the that pipeline and run it anytime. So there are a lot of things you can do. It's a full complete set of ETL uh, tool uh, or activities that is that can be used to build uh, your pipelines. And uh, finally, we have uh, Synapse Studio. That is your uh, single development uh, interface. Uh, so you can just uh, prepare a uh, visualizer uh, and whatever you want to do with this uh, uh, studio right there. It is integrated with the Power BI for dashboards. It is uh, Azure ML uh, for machine learning and uh, Azure Cosmos DB preview and uh, whatnot and there are more. So uh, this studio, we will going to take a look on the uh, Synapse Studio in detail in the future videos. Uh, you will learn a lot of things from there. 
So here are some final thoughts uh, uh, after uh, doing all the studies uh, about uh, Azure Synapse Analytics. Uh, Synapse uh, Analytics uh, is more than a data warehouse. Uh, it's a powerful, flexible platform to query files and uh, databases in one place. Uh, combine uh, SQL, Spark and Log Analytics. Uh, build a complete uh, lake house uh, or modern uh, data platform. Uh, and uh, here is the definition for the lake house. Uh, a lake house is a single platform where you can store raw data like a data lake but also run SQL queries and analytics like a data warehouse. So you have seen that I have shown you on top here let's say we have this storage where we save different files and then these run times are available for us and we can just simply go ahead and run our SQL queries and read the data from the different CSV files or parquet files and everything. So to understand very simple concept a lake house is a single platform where you can store raw data like a uh, data lake uh, but also run your SQL queries and analytics uh, like a data warehouse uh, so that's what it is uh, so you can build the uh, different uh, lake houses uh, by using uh, the Azure Synapse Analytics uh, as uh, you will be saving data into different raw formats uh, and uh, then you will be using uh, SQL queries uh, uh, like uh, you do on the normally data warehousing where you have a uh, uh, dimension table and fact tables uh. Now use uh, an uh, synapse to unlock uh, inside any scale from raw logs uh, to the ML powered uh, dashboards all inside a single unified uh, workspace. Uh. So that's our next topic, uh, how to create the workspace, uh, what exactly is the workspace uh, and what uh, components we see inside the workspace. We are going to take a look into that. Uh. Um, I thank you very much for watching this video. Please uh, uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, we will uh, take a look uh, on the next topic uh, in our next video.